Because you might think that that man is in custody, but that is not the case. Now, the school day just let out. It was yesterday prior to the beginning of school when three little girls went into the restroom, and that's when they encountered the man they called a random dude who beckoned them to come closer. He was, like, saying, like, come, um, here, and come here and, like, he don't can't. tell the teacher he was in there. Or don't call a cop or tell a cop. That's the account from two of three eight-year-olds that encountered a strange man in the girls' restroom at Thomas Jefferson Elementary School. He was like, keep telling us to get closer and come here. Instead, the girls ran to a teacher. On security footage from a house nearby, the girls identified this man as the one that easily made his way on campus. The principal was the one to tell me, like, yeah, he was escorted um, off campus by a staff member. Um, and I was like, oh. Okay, and that she said that the co cops were called and he was in custody. But that turned out not to be the case, as was noted in multiple emails to parents and this statement from the Bellflower Unified School District. The individual was escorted off campus. You ask, why did you let him go? Really, we haven't been given many clear answers. The LA Sheriff's Department is investigating, and the school and district promised enhanced security, including a sweep of the restrooms prior to the gates opening for students, and supervised entry for students dropped off early. But Friday morning, none of the protocols were followed today. The scariest part is something bad could have happened to our children. You know, he could have had a weapon, he could have done something to them, and who would have stopped him? Nobody even knew he was in that restroom. Adding to the frustration of the moms that we talked to today, they were supposed to have a face-to-face -face with the principal, but we interviewed them here. They say the principal likely noticed that we were talking to these moms. So after they went to the school to ask for that meeting, the principal said, nope, too busy. We too asked for some kind of uh, statement from the school and Fox 11 News was told to ask the district. So. We did get a statement, it was pretty general, from the Bellflower Unified School District. Reporting live in Bellflower, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.